Every morning we give Nikki a bath to help keep her fresh and clean. During her bath time, she'll actually we, uh, we try to do a urine collection for our crew department so they can monitor hormones and see how the cat's doing. Urine hormone monitoring is really important for, for keeping track of the health of the pregnancy. Um, so we know based on her progesterone levels that the placenta and the baby are actually viable and healthy. And it's good because this is also, as you know, urine samples. It's a non-invasive way of collecting hormone data. Um, Indian rhinos are really good about being conditioned for certain processes. The keepers have them conditioned for our ultrasound, for AI, but they're big babies when it comes to blood collection and they don't like a, a little tiny needle stick in their skin. Um, so we work around that and then we can collect samples. It could be every day with getting a urine sample because that's a normal process that a rhino does. Um, and we use urine samples because that actually reflects the hormone events that are going on that day. Early on, we looked at her once a week with her hormone levels. But as pregnancy has progressed, we usually just do it now, maybe twice a month. So we're gonna see a green color that develops on the plate. And if there is a dark green color, it means that there's low levels of hormone. But if it's very light in color, it means there's a high concentration of hormone. Everything looks great. She's producing high levels of progesterone, and that comes from the placenta and the baby. 